hello all right so this is muse score three and i've got three really handy features uh, that i'm going to go over in this little tutorial so let's jump in so i've got mary had a little lamb carol the bells baby shark and i'm teaching some really basic piano skills to some students so I wanted to make sure that they are they are easily accessible, that we're getting familiar with where our keys are on the keyboard, that sort of thing. So uh, at the top, if I select a note, if I want to put anything, any of those letters underneath, I can hold Control, press E, and I can type it in there just like so, and it'll show up underneath. Um, say I want to put a note, a uh, note name above the staff. Then I'm going to hold Control and press T, and that'll give me some system text um, to put above the staff, which is fantastic. But hey, if you have a bunch of notes, what can you do? That it would get really boring and dull to just go through every single one. Oh my goodness! So you're going to go up to Plugins, Plugin Manager, and they've got a variety of ones that are already there for you uh, that you can check out, and it'll give you a little brief description about what it does. And I have color notes and note names selected. You'll need note names for this. So what you're going to do is select the notes that you want to have their note names, their letter names there. And go to plugins. Go to notes after you've got those selected. Note names. Ta-da! We got some note names. Great. Um, however, those two are above. That looks weird. So I'm just going to move this down or move that up. So I can move these two down. I just held control um, while I was clicking so that I could select multiple of those. So there we go. And I can change the individual ones over here. So I can go over here and say, I want those to be bold because it's easier to see. And again, holding control so I can select multiples. And there we go. Now we've got nice, bold, easy to read, that kind of thing. So that's part one. Next is the image capture tool. So I love this because those transparent backgrounds where you can put images all over the place, fantastic. So here we go. Go into tools up at the top and then down near the bottom it says image capture and it brings up a nice selection box so you can adjust it as you please. Move it around and whatever you want to have as part of your transparent there piece. You're going to right click and make sure transparent background is selected if that is what indeed what you want and then save as a screenshot so screenshot mode and then i've already saved this it's going to save as a png um, you can also do a pdf if that works for you or as vector graphics which is neat so that is the image capture tool and then once you're finished just go back up to tools and un or deselect the image capture area Cool. All right, last one, the piano. I don't know when this feature was added. I haven't been using MuseScore more or all that <laughs> frequently lately, so maybe I'm just late to the game or something. But this is so cool, especially for beginner piano players, and they're just like, where, where are the buttons? That sort of thing. Where are the keys? What do I press? So here you go. You're going to view, and you're going to go down here, and there's piano keyboard. Woohoo! And it just is a keyboard and it pops up. It's amazing. Um, you can also press P to pull it up and put it away. P for pull it up, put it away. Piano. Uh -huh. Okay. So once you're there, you got that selected uh, or ready to go, you can listen to your piece. And it's so lovely it shows you exactly which keys you're supposed to be pressing and highlights them and I even like that it, it highlights the the notes as you're going along so if you're using this for um, any like screencastify or other um, recording on your screen like this is a really awesome tool to just be that much faster about um, giving supports and that sort of thing um, also if you want to point out a certain note like say hey G oh G there it is you can point that out too. And you can um, adjust the size of the keyboard. So maybe you don't want to show nearly as much. You just want to keep a smaller piano there. Totally works that way. So those are your three fun and simple processes in Music Score 3. Hopefully that's helpful. And yeah.